got rid of your pampas grass problem. But ah, the spider in it. Oh, hello, good morning. Today, we're gonna to be doing a little adventure around my house. I'm gonna be reshuffling and decorating a few of my rooms and making it feel very, very cozy for the upcoming autumn season. I don't know about you, but this global pandemic business has really warped my perception of time. I still feel like it should be summer and I feel like autumn should last for a week and then we go into Christmas. So doesn't that happen in my house anyway? Mm, maybe. This year I'm really focusing on making things cozy and not buying anything new. As much as I'd like to go to TK Maxx to buy some new pumpkins, let's normalize not doing that every single year although they'd be really cute and much cuter than the ones I already have, but let's not, let's use the ones I have. So the theme for this video is gonna be making my home cozy without making it overly autumnal, but I'm gonna have loads of tips and tricks how to make your house cozy as well. So let's jump in and I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. So I'm gonna focus mainly on tidying up and cozying up the sitting room and the kitchen. This is what the sitting room's looking like. It's not horrendous. It does need a quick tidy up, but I just wanna change a few little things to make it feel more cozy in here. Okay, now let's see the kitchen. What I really wanna focus on is tidying up above the microwave and these shelves. I feel like I could definitely restyle them and make them look a little bit more autumnal. They have been gathering things for a while now. <laughs> so first things first, as usual, I'm gonna go to my nan's and see what I can borrow from her garden uh, to put in a vase. Let's see if I can find anything. <laughs> okay, we're here, Nan's garden, featuring my lockdown swimming pool that I used once. This is now deflated. And I think I might have found what I'm looking for. Ta-da! Before you filthy scoundrels say anything, in the back garden so don't even don't know I got rid of your pampas grass problem. Now the neighbours won't be thinking badly of you. Did you, did you pick any nice long bits? You did them all short. But, ah! The spider in it! Oh, ah! Come on, don't drop them there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going up your dresser now. Oh, he's going towards your bed. <laughs> Quickly. Where is he? Oh, he's a bull. Have you got him? No. <laughs> you open the window? Oh, the window's locked. Oh, maybe you won't have to because I've lost him. <laughs> there you go. Come here. Come here. Ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm lying. laughs> have you got him? No, I've lost him. Oh, no, for God's sake. Thank you for your support. <laughs> okay, chaos is over. I've just gotten home and I kid you not, I just opened TikTok. The first video that came up is this user looking for pampas grass. The algorithm knows what I'm doing and I don't like it. This is by Rouse Living, I hope I am pronouncing that right, and they um, said that they have dried theirs upside down for one to two weeks. I don't have one to two weeks, I was planning on posting this next week, so I don't, oh, the door. So that was one of my bad decisions arriving, it was just someone coming to read the gas meter. Anyway, yeah, fun. Room. 
Okay, so we're in the kitchen now because my next project involves this. I'm gonna try and attempt to make some dried orange slices in the oven. Wish me luck. Let's hope I don't burn the house down. Oh God, touch wood. Let's try this. Preheat the oven to 90 degrees Celsius. And some grease proof paper. Hear me out, what if I just sprinkled some ground cinnamon on them? Not because I'm gonna eat them, but because it will make the house smell nice. Just like, there we go. Hey Siri, set a timer for two hours, please. Your timer is set for two hours. Thank you. While my orange slices are cooking, I'm gonna try and make another DIY project in my dining room because I love chaos and I love making a mess apparently. But I'm gonna try and make a piece of wall art with a bit of texture because I feel like texture is a big, big mood when it comes to being cozy in the autumn time. So that's what I wanna try and do. I've seen on Pinterest so many like textured concrete canvases and I want to try and do that but with a twist so it's not just going to be a textured effect it's going to have a little design in it <laughs> we'll see how it works do you ever sometimes feel like you're in the midst of a bad idea you know what no I have a smaller campus. So as you might have just seen, my big canvas was way too big, so my backup option was two tiny canvases. This is what they're looking like right now. I'm not gonna lie to you, I kind of wanna keep them as they are. I think they look pretty cool. But I wanna give you guys some options. So I came up with an idea that's probably not gonna work, but we're gonna try it anyway, and that is cones. I'm gonna try and draw some abstract art on my abstract art with combs. Let's see how this goes. This one with the wide teeth looks like it could work. So let's just try it. Oh, kind of cool. Okay, that, that does look cool. Can you see that? Hmm. My oranges are still in the oven. It's been two hours and they're still not done yet. My abstract wall art is drying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tidy up a little bit and I'll come back tomorrow and we're gonna do the styling and I'm gonna show you how to make it super cozy. So see you in a couple of seconds. Good morning, it's been a couple of days now. The pampas grass is still looking quite green. I might need to give it a bit more time, but I'm gonna crack on with the kitchen. So let me show you how I'm gonna make this shelving area look a little bit more cozy. So I went around my house and I picked out a load of things that I thought might look really nice in the kitchen. We've got a lot of stoneware and earth tone colors. These plates were 10 pence each in the charity shop. And I did see these the other day and I picked them up because I thought they looked really nice together. They were like a pound for a stack of four. So we're gonna incorporate those. I'd like to see if I can put that up. It's a print that I got from the Tate Modern. And I did buy a pumpkin because they've got them in the supermarkets, but I think it's looking very bright orange. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it today or not, but we'll see. So let's take a lot of this stuff down and then I can replace it with some of the other bits.
So I'm done with this little corner over here and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm really pleased with how it turned out because the colors are very calm and neutral and just the kind of mood that I want for this time of year. It's a lot less chaotic than it was when I started. It also feels really autumnal without screaming autumn, but I did manage to squeeze in this little guy right behind me, this little pumpkin. And I used my uh, faux concrete artwork in here as well, which I'm really pleased with. I only used one, the other one wasn't as good. Um, it, was, it was hit and miss, but I really like that one. Um, I nearly forgot my orange garland, but it's fine, I put it together. It was really easy, I just strung a piece of string through the oranges and tied a few knots to keep them from moving around. Um, they're still moving around. <laughs> But it's up now and I think it looks really cute and kind of adds something else that ties the whole shelf area together. Okay, now, now we can work on the sitting room. With all of that, this room is now finished. I didn't make too many huge changes in here. I just used what I had and got rid of some of the brighter summery colors and switched them out for some more textured and cozy materials and cushions. I've got the light plugged in in the corner so it's really cozy in the evening time. Something that I love in the winter is side lights instead of overhead light. I think lighting plays a massive part in how cozy a home feels. And I did squeeze a couple of pumpkins in here too, as you saw. So with all of that being done, that is the transformation of the sitting room as well. It doesn't look a huge deal different, but it feels a lot cozier when you're in the space. And I think that's all that matters at the end of the day. My question for you is, how are you decorating for this autumn? Are you going full on or are you just making a few small changes like me? let me know and with all of that being said happy decorating thanks for sticking through the chaos and i'll see you next time bye